Hey everybody, Weem here. Welcome back to Stars of One. I'm actually coming down to the uh, shore to fill up the water bottles, which I was realizing is kind of funny because we're presumably on an ocean, but we just drink straight out of it with water bottles. So <laughs> yeah, it's a little disturbing. You can see I've got uh, some changes here. I basically started swapping out the material uh, for concrete blocks. I ended up with a lot of concrete mix. I put the industrial stuff down that we had before and just kind of settled in a little bit here, but it has actually been a number of days since I had you in here because I've been gathering a lot of materials. I just wanted to jump in and do something really fun for this episode, and it took a while to get here, so <laughs> we return now having gathered a lot of materials. Let me jump into my inventory, grab the water, and you can see I've got an air factory here. Very cool. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, first of all, I'm gonna chug this water. Okay, now I've got this air factory, and what I did was I looked at what that was going to um, take to get it made, and I kind of gathered all the materials, uh, which again, it took a while. Um, let me see if I just type in air. There you go. So you can see all kinds of materials there. So I set about gathering all that stuff. Now once I had it, I thought, okay, cool, let's you know bring you guys in and make it. But I thought, uh, you know, I don't have the materials to make the ship for whatever that costs, so I put the... the air factory down and looked at what it took to make it and it was expensive so I said okay more gathering <laughs> now uh, you can see I've got a bunch of a ring of trees right here I was running around in a circle at one point planting trees so those are coming up but I think there's room here and you need a lot of room for this you can you're about to see there we go it is huge it is massive so last time I put it down just to kind of check it out I stuck it right here next to the base so I think we'll do that Look at this thing, it's huge. It's just massive. And because the ground kind of slants down, you can actually run over here and you can see that it's off the ground. <laughs> and we can walk underneath it. So anyway, there you go. Now if we had um, the certain tools, we could actually level the terrain and uh, kind of fix all that. Or I could put blocks under there. But there you go, this thing is huge. So let's jump in here real quick. And I'll show you that we have one airship and you can see the materials to make this um, yeah it's a lot a lot of materials here 450 the conductor 950 small iron parts tons of stuff so I set about to work gathering all of that as well crafting everything I needed it took a while <laughs> it definitely took a while but here we go I have all of it down here let me throw these blocks in and basically these are all the materials we need I think exactly what we need and I have not made the ship yet I just tried to make sure I had the materials so I could bring you guys in here and make the ship so let's check this out I'm gonna go to this side over here I don't actually know if it is gonna put in my inventory or what let's see um, we're gonna go ahead and hit create processing Okay, so we're going to have a bit of a wait. Check that out. 234. I'm assuming that's going to keep ticking down. 230. Okay, so it is making that. We've got a bit of a wait. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring you back when that's ready. I think I'll drop off some stuff in the chest over here. Okay, as we count down the seconds here, closing in on 15 seconds, I thought I would let you know that the plan today is to make the ship and I want to fly around and just experiment. I want to kind of see what it takes to fly it. I want to, you know, try to land it. And then I'll kind of progressively try some things that are maybe more and more risky <laughs> to the ship. Workspace is not empty. Factory door open. Oh, check that out. That's cool. How do we go in here? Factory door open. Can I just ooh, jump in here? Oh, look at that. <laughs> cool. Okay, well before I do anything, I actually want to grab a screenshot of this here for use later. But yeah, I want to fly this around, I want to try to land it. I, some, some things I want to try, I want to see if I can uh, crash it. <laughs> I want to see what happens if I try to land it in water. Will it sink? Can I recover it if it does sink? And I want to fly out to the edge of the map where I saw a reflection on the water. Now somebody was telling me in the comments that, um, and I forgot who, sorry about that. But somebody mentioned they actually swam out to it and there was some kind of a ship or something out there. So, Or maybe an island? No, I can't remember. So anyway, I want to check that out. Cargo Bay. Does this say uh, VFA, Cargo Bay? So you got two different things. This is just inventory, I guess? Okay, cool. Cool, so you can fly this around and fill it up. And now let's try this. F. Okay, we are in. 
I have no idea what to do. I know F1 is a control zone, so let's look at this. Uh, sprint. I don't see anything about the ship controls, so we may just have to experiment. Okay, so WASD is for turning. Spacebar does nothing. Uh, holding left control, left shift. Oh, there we go. And if I let off, I'm just going to see if it continues or if we go back down. I'm not holding anything now, so... Uh, we don't seem to be sinking. So, left control down. And once I just kind of barely held it, it just does it for a little burst. And if I hold left shift and let off, it kind of glides to a stop. So, that's kind of cool. I'm assuming then... Let's try this. Okay, and then I can hold control. Whoa, whoa, whoa. control is down. Wrong one, man. <laughs> now, now I want to know if I face the ship and I hold forward. Okay, so forward, W is always forward, regardless of which way you're looking, which is kind of cool. Because you can look around you as you fly around. Okay, so we can turn. This thing turns really sharp. So that's cool. This, uh, it's not too hard to control. It's not bad. Actually, somebody had uh, mentioned on Steam that it was hard to control, but... Um, it seems okay. I mean, I don't know that I'll be doing barrel rolls or <laughs> flying between any narrow areas, but it seems okay. So let's see. If we were flying around, one of the cool things that we could do is see where materials are. Of course, I'm pretty high up, so I'm not seeing anything. We can obviously see where the old uh, base was over here. That's cool. We got our materials down there. A couple furnaces. We have the food and everything. Awesome. Now, I don't see any kind of fuel, so that's cool. I don't think we actually burned through any. So let's uh, let's try something. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do kind of a hard landing here. I'm just going to go forward and hold uh, the lower control here. So, yeah, no indication of any damage or anything. You probably just crashed this thing, no problem. Um, now, I'm a little curious what happens if I try to get out. Like, I'm going to hit E, but I want to be close to the ground so that... Uh, if it doesn't come down, I can at least, like, try to get back in into it. <laughs> if I jump from too high up, then I won't be able to reach it. Oh, there's a, uh, <laughs> creature down there. Did I just squish him? Where is he? Where'd he go? I think I killed him. Oh, look at that! It, like, flattened him. He was like... <laughs> mm. Now what? Oh, I can scroll out of here, too. Excellent. Does it really just pin him to the ground? Or is he dead now? Okay, well, maybe that finally killed him. <laughs> I landed hard enough on him. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Um, I just want to get this low to the ground. That'll work. Yes, and E. E, how do I get out? No, F. F. And then, okay, so it comes down. Good to know. That's right, F got into it. Cool. Now let's go try to put it down in water. I actually just I'm gonna do it near the shore again so that if it sinks or does anything weird, at least it's right here. Um, can I hit these trees? There is collision with the trees. Okay, let's bring this down a bit. Forward. I'm just curious if it goes below the surface. It does. And can I get it out? Oh no. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. I can't um, do any thrusters here, but if I hop out, please tell me. Oh no, I can't pick it up. <laughs> what a bummer. So your ship is pretty much gone. That's a bummer. I wanted to fly it out, um, but does this act as oxygen? It does. Interesting. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well, we lost the ship. I should have done this in, well, I guess shallower water would not have mattered. Huh. I wonder if there's something we can do back at the um, back at the base to kind of get it returned there. Am I turning this around? I am holding the thrusters right now, although we don't have any indication that's actually doing anything. I think it's just I think I'm not moving anywhere. I'm just spinning in place. That's unfortunate. But I'm wondering if we can get just a little bit of this above the surface if it will count. Just enough. I don't know if we can get the nose out of the. Uh, top. We had the tail for a minute. Can I tap this? No? Turn it 
trying to rock it now. Like, yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay, well, I'm going to play around with this a little bit and see if there's anything else I can do. Okay, it occurred to me there was something I could try. I ran back to the base, and, and I did play with the factory to see if there was some way of kind of bringing the ship back, and there wasn't. But then it occurred to me I could bring some blocks out here. Now, you can't make blocks if the ship is occupying some of the space. I did put some back here to keep it from going down any deeper. I don't think it was going any deeper, though. But as I was moving the ship around, I saw something that gave me an idea. We're going to see how this works. And basically, when I try to turn it, it wants to rotate. But um, I think I might be able to do something here. So bear with me. I just made a little little spot right there on the left. And so if I turn this left, you can see the back end spins a bit. It rotates. So I'm almost wondering if I could just keep doing this. Yeah, like this. Then I could put one down on the bottom leg. Oh no, don't go over the top. So let's hop out. I don't think it goes anywhere once you get out. It, just, it stays there. It doesn't slide underwater any further. Um, but we could use this as like a brace that it goes against. Uh, I'm gonna need to go high here. <laughs> and then like you're pushing against it to push the tail up onto the shore. And then I could do one on this side and spin it the other way. Ah, get up there. So if I, if I hold left, you'll see it's pushing the tail up. And then what I'll do is I'll put some back here by the tail and I'll hold right and it should be able to use that as the brace. I think I can do this. I'm just going to have to sit here and get a little bit more oxygen, but I think this might actually work. Actually, we're, we shouldn't slide down anymore, so if I hold right, I should be able to turn. Is the tail coming down? Oh, I think it might be. It, it's like it rotates it in place almost no matter what, um, unless something's blocking the path. So we can use that to our advantage. Uh, let's go out here, actually. Here. Just make a little brace for this thing. Something like that. Let's give this a whirl. Now I'm going to hold right, and it should brace against that. Hopefully. Come on. Turn. <laughs> See, we're getting separation. We're actually moving the front end up into the more shallow area and then what I would do is I'll put another brace up here at the front again so you can see we're already higher up than we were I think this might work that tail's still hooked it's not going right anymore in fact I'm gliding back down that's unfortunate let's try this again nope but we'll try how about that oh yeah look at this we can do it so I might have to play with this a bit and see if there's uh yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> I'll keep playing with this for a while. There we go. We made it. <laughs> oh, man. So many blocks. I was able to wind my way out of there. That is amazing. So we're going to back this out. Oh, that was so cool. That took a little while. <laughs> that took an effort. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out of here. <laughs> Let me just show you. I had to waddle this thing back and forth. But... Uh, there you go. There's the monstrosity of blocks that got me out. And you know what? They're going to stay here. A little memorial <laughs> to what it took to get the airship out. So let's do some more with this thing now that we've got some daylight. I'm going to hop in here and cruise up. Now let's go check out the stuff that's over there. So we know that we can crash land with it really hard and not damage it. We know that if it goes in water, yeah, it's sinking <laughs> and it's not running again. Uh, we know that you can get it out by using blocks to kind of wiggle your way out. Um, but let me tell you, I was barely uh, offshore and that took a while. So if you did it way out here, mm, not sure it's going to be worth the effort. But uh, so one of the things I was realizing you'll have to kind of keep in mind is your, uh, your life, basically your food and your hunger and your thirst. Because if you were to be flying and just die from that, um, my assumption is the ship is just going straight down and in the depths of the water there would not be fun to try to get back out. So anyway, you might keep that in mind before you go flying anywhere. So there's our island in the distance. Very cool. I'm actually going to grab a quick screenshot here because why not? Something like that. I like my screenshots. Okay. So we'll get out here now. Again, somebody had mentioned that they swam out here, and we haven't gone that far, but we are going pretty quick. 
and I'm thinking that must have been a long swim. <laughs> it must have taken a while. So uh, we'll see just how long this takes to get out here. It looks like this doesn't want to go... I can't quite get it straight there. If I barely... I guess if I just... There we go. I just have to barely touch it. Just turn just a little. I want to be lazy and just hold forward, so... Okay, cool. Man, I'm so glad we got it out of the water. Very cool. I thought, well, that's that. I can't gather all the, those parts again. I just can't bring myself to do it. But uh, <laughs> here we go. So we're going to just keep uh, flying out here and we'll see what's on the other side. Okay, we've got an island showing up here. Some uh, dead trees. This is sounding familiar. They said it was like a barren island with a wrecked ship on it or something. So here we go. That's cool. It looks like this could be pretty small. And we won't set down on it just yet. I'll kind of fly around it, see what we can see, see if there's creatures. I don't want to land and get swarmed or anything. Certainly won't be swimming out here. <laughs> Pretty cool ship, part way into the water. I don't know if that's, is that a door? No, some kind of thrusters. Okay, got trees there. I don't see anything, no plants. Just the trees, no idea if we can chop those. I, I am gonna to wanna to try that though. Cool. Interesting looking ship. I'm not sure there's anything we can do with it. Um, I'm just going to fly to the other side here. Get a little higher off the ground. Yeah, okay, so not much here really. Front of the ship. Doesn't look like there's any kind of access to it or anything. And how about over here? Just hills. So we just have these trees and the ship. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. So we'll just go ahead and put this down. I want to see if I can chop a tree. We have to experiment. We've got to see what we can do here. I'll just plant this right here. Can we land on a tree? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. In fact, we walk right through it. So there's no chopping it or anything. Um, I could... Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's say I could bring the ship over to this ship, but I'll just run over there. I'm not that lazy. No, I'm that lazy. I don't want to run. We'll just land this right up here. Quote unquote land. We'll crash it. <laughs> okay, so we can hit this. At least it makes a sound anyway. There's no entrance. So I'm assuming that's all that's out here. There's probably going to be some plan uh, for this. But as of right now, nothing out here. Just one model, and then some models of the trees, and that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just, um, I'm going to fly around a little bit and just double check I'm not missing anything, and then I'm going to fly back to the base. Okay, one more thing I want to do before I go. You can see the base down below, the airship factory. I kind of want to fly over this, and I want to just jump out. I want to see, uh, I believe the ship will come down. Curious... I would imagine I'll die. Come to think about it, I have taken falling damage jumping out of the airship factory on the corner because it's up high, the ground grand slam, slanted, if I could talk, <laughs> the ground slanted down. And uh, so I had kind of a deep fall and it took some damage. So I'd imagine this will kill me, but let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to bring my HUD back up. So we're just going to hit uh, F and fall out of here. There we go. We're going to fall right into the factory. Blah. <laughs> Now in a respawn, there's the base, there's the ship, I'm going to hold still. It is coming down slowly. Cool. I'm going to run right over here. Make sure I'm not getting followed, but uh, yeah, I think we're going to leave it at that. The ship's going to come down here, I'll get that back. I've kind of experimented with it um, in all of the ways I imagined I would want to. <laughs> there might be a few more things I want to try, but I think we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. In fact, we're going to leave the series at that. This will be kind of the last episode of this run. I'm going to keep an eye on the game. It's been enjoyable so far. A lot of materials and stuff to craft. It has felt like a waiting game at times for uh, things to get done, but um, I think there's a lot of potential here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait and see how the next couple updates do, and I would imagine I will return to this. Um, I actually generated this world right away when the game came out, so I don't have cotton in this world. There was an update that came out afterwards, 
And so there was things I just couldn't make in this world anyway. At some point I was going to need to restart, so it might as well be uh, sooner than later. And like I said, I'm going to keep an eye out for uh, future updates, and I will return to it to kind of show you guys what's there, and uh, we'll check it out together. I do want to thank you guys for watching the series, though. I really appreciated the comments and everything. You guys definitely were liking the video and letting me know what you thought, which is great. I, I love hearing that from you guys. So once again, thanks for all of that. Thanks for watching. As always, I will catch you next time.